Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to paint this 3D printed head of Frankenstein's monster. All right, I'll get started right after this. The first thing I'm going to do is sand the entire 3D print. So I started with the head, which was painted green, this dark green, and when I started sanding it, it actually worked out really well because that paint kind of added another layer that would go into those grooves. And what I'm trying to do is get rid of as much of the build lines as I can and make it much more smooth. I went ahead and got some water and then wet a paper towel to wipe off a lot of the dust from sanding so I didn't have that all over. And then I just kept sanding it until I was happy with it. Got it really smooth in the back and then I used this little sanding tool to get into some of the eye areas. Once that was all done, I'm going to paint the entire 3D print with gesso. This is just a surface prep. Hopefully it'll let the, or help the acrylic paint adhere to the print better. So I'm starting off with the inside, even though this probably won't be seen ever. And then I'm going to go over everything else. Once that's done and dry, I'm going to do a base coat of black over everything. So I'm just getting on my brush, covering it in just a nice even coat. I don't want it too thick because I don't want it to be goopy. Once that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and dry brush, kind of heavily, 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 heavily dry brush a dark green onto it as kind of a base color. I know I'm kind of, you know, going back to the green that I took off of it, but you know, there, there's a pur purpose or method to my madness. Now I'm mixing up some gray for the brain. So I'm going to dry brush this over our brain give it a nice, you know, gray kind of meh look. So now that that's all dry, I'm going to mix up a lighter green to dry brush over our Frankenstein's monster's head. Get this all mixed up, add in a little more of the dark green, and then I have this lighter green I'm going to mix in here. Get this all done so I have this kind of a grayish green kind of paler color for his you know skin so I'm dry brushing this over and it's still a pretty heavy coat basically with my dry brush what I want to do is get it so those crevices are still dark so I want to have it have mainly you know a pretty consistent green color over the the print here as you can see that's done now, I wasn't totally happy with my brain, and so I thought he needed a, you know, it needed a little bit of life to it. So I thought I would mix up uh, kind of a dull pink, get that all mixed up. That's still a little too red, so I'll add a little more white in here. Get that all mixed up, and I'm going to dry brush this over the gray. So I want the gray to still kind of show through in parts, so I want this to be a little less than what I did on the gray, dr gray dry brushing. Get that all on there. Now I'm going to let that dry. Pour a little bit of silver. I'm going to use this on the little bolts sticking out of the monster's neck. So I'm not really dry brushing this, I'm just covering those. It's going to be fine. I just wanted a nice little metallic look to be, you know, have it stand out from the rest. Now, for whatever reason, I had this in my head that this brain should have little black dots over it, like it's kind of sickly. So I decided I would take a paper clip and add those dots. Now I want to put the brain in the head. And I'm using some UV resin to cover the brain to make it nice and wet. So I'm just taking my brush, and I am using an old brush that's all all messed up that's because it's not going to survive this so I just took an old brush and I'm brushing my UV resin over there then I'm going to take my UV light if it looks like everything's covered and I'm going to put this over for about 30 45 seconds Ooh, look at it pretty okay so now that that's all done I've decided that this looks too clean I liked how it looked when I was sanding it and it had a lot more of the maybe more of the detail showing through so i thought well i'm gonna give this a brown wash and see if this makes it look a little more dingy and gritty like something that you know was dug up from the ground so i had a little bit of brown paint left in here so i just poured some water in there and i'm mixing that up and then i'm gonna pour this into my little 
paint tray and I'm gonna take a wet paper towel to have that ready in case I need to clean up and then I'm just take my brush and cover this all over just give it you know a kind of a dirty dingy wash to it I am staying away from the brain that's all done with that UV resin so I don't really want to get it in there too much it's okay if a little bit gets on there but the main thing is I want the detail in the face so I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then we'll look at the finished Frankenstein's monster's head. All right, get you a good look at this guy. I was pretty happy how this turned out. If my memory is correct, this is the first 3D printed item I have painted. I had a lot of fun with it and I learned a lot, but I'll definitely be doing more in the future. I actually have a cool piece that I got from a friend of mine I'll be painting soon. And you can see here, even though I sanded it, you can still see some of the build lines, but they're not as prominent as they were before. And here's a good close-up of that brain. I really like the resin on there. It really gave it a nice glossy, wet look. And get a little bit of a close-up of the face. And I think the brown wash helped a lot with adding some detail to it. And there's a close-up of the bolt. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I've got a lot of other projects planned and a lot of stuff in the works. All right, well, thanks for watching and remember, never stop creating. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Be sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already done so. I post new videos whenever I can get them done. That's right, it's not a weekly thing. It could be a weekly thing, but it's not always a weekly thing. But, you know, just sometimes I just get them done and I put them up and all right, bye.